What's up everybody? Welcome to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at a brand new product by MakeBlock. Now, MakeBlock is a company we've seen before that made the MBOT and a variety of other robots we've seen before. But this one here is something special. It's actually the Motion Block. It is a brand new multi-purpose robot that you can build a variety of different creations to do different things, such as a claw, a gunner, even a fighter and a dog. So if you wanted your very own, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. Now, in this episode here, we'll be unboxing it, trying it out, and seeing what it's all about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so this here is our box, and surprisingly, it is a lot bigger than I expected. Now, it does have a handle on the top here, so you can go ahead and carry it about. So you see uh, different variations of the robot. So you can see on the bottom here, it shows that you can make a fighter, uh, like a wheelie, a gorilla, a claw, a snake, and different kind of things, which is kind of cool. But you, again, you can always go ahead and build your very own, so that's kind of nice too. Now, they use uh, a drag and drop uh, app here. This here is the Make Block app. It's actually a very easy to use app. So I'm kind of excited to see how this all kind of plays out. Now, as we kind of rotate the box uh, you'll see that on the back here kind of shows you uh, in terms of like the functionality of it so you have these uh, high performance servos so this here are kind of like a breakdown on how the servos look like so they're more like like a clipping kind of play uh, and then you have an acceleration module uh, ejection module a clamping module a swing module and a rotating module and then of course it supports M block as well as the make block app so you have these different kind of functionalities in terms of being able to create your own robot Robot. So let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, so we get these two boxes right over here. Nice. So that is a very, very cool looking setup. Kind of gives you like a blast of all the crazy parts that we're going to be using today. Oh, this is so awesome. I mean, check it out. You have a lot of different things. And I mean, look, look, there's a freaking ball. Look at this. I mean, I don't know why that just caught my eye, but I love it. I absolutely love the presentation of it, especially if you're going to go ahead and put it back. You have all this room, you can go ahead and place it back wherever it is instead of throwing everything in a box and kind of jumbling about as organization is always key. Uh, so we have ourselves some suction clamps, so interesting. So put on this against this wall, lift that up and voila. Uh, then we have ourselves an upper cover. Uh, so this here essentially is a cover that will kind of house uh, our different components. Uh, we have ourselves a claw, look at that, that's pretty cool. Uh, and then over here we have our accelerometer. It's kind of cool looking. Uh, we have ourselves a wheel. Look at that right there. So you got the nice rubbery compound uh, with this texture to go ahead and give it a nice grippy kind of feel. Uh, and then as we kind of rotate about, we have our servos down here. So you're very traditional looking servos here. Uh, these here are 25 kilograms per centimeter torque. So they're actually kind of strong. Uh, not obviously like super Anthony strong, but then again, there are pretty uh, strong servos that we can use in terms of like bot fighting as well. And we have ourselves our master control, which is this right over here. Look at that. So this here has an LCD monitor. Uh, you have an on off switch here, so you can go ahead and program it to your liking. We have some covers. These are all like rubber covers. This, this is like, it's like literally a rubber compound. So as we're kind of moving about, we notice that it has a lot of variations in different pieces. Uh, and I have to say, they actually did a great job in building these things. I mean, I've seen a lot of different robots before and a lot of robotic kits. So far, this is really standing out to me in terms of build quality. I actually like it a lot. Now we have ourselves some more adapters. Ah, we have our trusty little toolbox. We have a nice looking screwdriver. Uh, looks like we have some screws, some different nuts, different pieces, some rubber bands, and then we have a variety of different cables uh, to connect our robot together. Now over here we have our rotary angle sensor. So these here are different sensors uh, as well as a rectangular connector. Uh, and then over here we have ourselves extension blocks. Uh, we have our Lego adapter. That's kind of cool that they added that too. So you can go ahead and expand on it using Legos. 
uh, we have ourselves our foot. So this here is a foot, so you can use this for the gorilla, of course. Uh, and then we have our fist, so these are kind of cool too. So you can use this in the fighting robot. It's got like almost like a fist, like uh, And we have an armor set. Uh, and then of course we have our balls and ball connectors. Oh, ball container. <laughs> Look at this, that's cool. They're like spongy. <laughs> Alrighty. And then as we kind of go down here, we got more covers and more levers. And uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and use this app next. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on motion block. Uh, and then from there, it kind of shows you all the different things that you can use. So we have a mechanical, we have bionic, and then we have a mechanical arm synchronizer. Now we'll go ahead and click on mechanical for now. And you can see all the different things that you can make. So you have a fighter, you have like a robotic arm. Uh, if you click on bionic, you have like different animals that you can make from dog to a gorilla. And then like if you go into the mechanical arm synchronizer, uh, you can use that device where you can kind of like mechanically synchronize it with your robot. So first thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and build ourselves a pitching, uh, well, let's do a robotic arm as that's kind of like key. And yeah, let's go ahead and queue up that montage next and see if we can build this. So our robot is finally done and it actually came out pretty cool. So you got these three suctions on the bottom to kind of keep it mounted in place. You have this LCD screen here that you can go ahead and animate. And then you have a variety of different joints that you can go ahead and maneuver uh, based on your liking. And we'll go ahead and push these suctions down. From there we'll go ahead and turn on our robot by pressing this on off switch right here. And then from there we'll go ahead and boot up our app next and connect to it via Bluetooth. So we're going to go ahead and click on our mechanical. And then since this one here is actually the robotic arm, we'll click on that. And then we'll click connect now. And now it's gonna go ahead and look for it. And we'll click on plus and click there. And it's connecting and voila. So you can see it's already kind of live animating itself at the same time. Now you can see that on the uh, face part right down here that it is got some, uh, looks like a facial expression right there. That's pretty cool. So you can go ahead and maneuver the robot just like this. You can move that up or down. Uh, you can move this down or up. You can open up the claw. You can close the claw. You can go ahead and have it position up and down as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and try it out. Now I think the best way to do is actually have it grab something. So what better to grab than another make block product. All right, so in this challenge here, we'll go ahead and see if we can grab Cody, uh, also made by MakeBlock. Uh, so let's go ahead and put this down just like right there and see if we can grab it. Now, uh, the first thing we wanna do is open up our claw. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and move our arm just down, just like that. And then we'll position this down. Okay, nice. Okay, so we'll lower this. All right, that looks good. So we're gonna close the grip. There we go. Let's bring it up just like that. And voila, we did it. And there you have it. We grabbed ourselves the Cody. <laughs> so we can go ahead and release it. And yeah, kind of cool. So that's kind of neat. And then if you also take a look at the uh, face itself, if I click on the facial expression here, I can go ahead and animate anything I want. So I can go ahead and do that. I can make a smiley face. And it's literally like, it's live. So you can see everything on there. You can create more than one and stuff of that nature. So pretty neat. And you can just go ahead and like toggle between the two. And other than that, I mean, you also have a pen function mode. So you can go ahead and remove the claw and replace it with the pen. And then once you're done, you can actually go ahead and write out words and we'll go ahead and draw it out based off that. So pretty fun stuff. Now, the next thing we should build would be the fighter. So let's see how this works out. So this here is our fighter make block. You actually see uh, he's got a little animation going on in his eyes right over there. Yeah, he came to look like a very nice, fierce fighter. So you've got these two different arms. Uh, you can go ahead and like punch about. And then you have a movement control as well. Now this here is our app. So if I just go ahead and use a left joystick here, I can go ahead and move the robot like an RC car and rotate it about just like this. So I can move back. And then if I hit the left punch, you can go ahead and punch that way. Just like that. And if I do the right punch, just like that. 
So you can go ahead and do different combinations based on whatever you'd like to see. So it uh, definitely makes a great robotic fighter. So another feature we haven't really seen yet is the record feature, which is kind of cool. So there's a button on here that you can hit record. You can see right up there. Uh, so if I hit record and then I can go ahead and create my own animations and hit play. So if I hit record just like this, you'll see that there is a record or a camera feature shown on its face. So go ahead and move the arms just like that. And then we'll move them back like that. And then we'll move them forward like that. And I'll move the arms back forward. Now let's go ahead and hit record again and hit play and watch what happens. Arms go back, they'll move back, move forward, and voila, <laughs> that's pretty cool. So you can customize and create your own animations and stuff of that nature. So that is essentially that. Uh, so the next thing we're going to build is the Pitching Auto. So it's, uh, this year is a shooter robot, which could be kind of fun to see. Uh, so let's go ahead and queue that up and build it next. All right, and this here is our final uh, one that we'll be building for today. This here is the Pitcher. Uh, so you get this cool looking robot and then you have like these balls up here with this cannon uh, that can go ahead and go up and down. And of course you have the face right there and then the wheels for movement. Now this one is, it was actually a lot of fun to build uh, just because it has a lot of different elements and relatively you're using the same base foundation and you're kind of building on the top of it. Now uh, in terms of controls go, so you can go ahead and maneuver it forward, back, right, left. And then in terms of the cannon goes, you can go ahead and raise it up and you can go ahead and raise it down. Now in terms of firing, you just press this button here on the right. So you can see how it kind of fires there. We'll go aim up a little higher. <laughs> so not a very strong cannon. <laughs> so not a very strong cannon, but it still does serve the purpose quite well. <laughs> All right, and then just so you guys know, they also offer a controller just like this one right over here. So you can go ahead and link it to your robot and customize it based off of that. For instance, if I hit the up arrow just like this, watch what happens. If I let go, it'll stop. If I hit back, I'll go back. And if I hit right, I'll turn right. If I hit left, it'll turn left. And then even with this one here, so if I hit number two, watch what happens. It'll go up. If I hit three, it'll go down. And then if I hit, watch this, if I hit number four, <laughs> so awesome. So it kind of gives you an idea of what that's about. Uh, so you can go ahead and literally customize it by simply just linking it to your computer and then you can program each of these controls. So a lot of fun and a lot of interesting stuff. Now, I hope that kind of gives you an idea of what this make block's about. Literally, the possibilities are endless and it's actually a lot of fun. Now, this here is ideal for anybody who's just trying to get into robotics or somebody wants to expand on robotics and learn different things as it's a great platform giving a lot of different options that you can go ahead and expand on. Now, they also have a lot of different features that we haven't really seen yet, uh, including different robots that we haven't built, uh, which include the bionic modes such as larva, snake, dog, gorilla, kind of give you more of a like a live action feel and then even a mechanical arm synchronizer allowing you to go ahead and synchronize it to your robot where you move a motion and it'll actually copy that motion at the same time. Now the only drawbacks about this robot might be just because it's a little bit difficult to go ahead and unbuild something that once you build it, it requires a lot of screws so you have to open up everything and kind of put it back together. Uh, and then uh, plus the fact that there's only five servos and you really do need to use all five servos in practically every robot well except this one right here. Now other than that it's actually a great piece and I definitely recommend it to anybody who's just trying to learn more about robotics and learn more about building robotics. This here is a nice high quality piece. Now with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you had any questions about the make block motion block feel free to comment down below otherwise thank you again for watching. See you guys next time. Take care now. Bye bye.